for the year that I was a uh, <clears throat> sanitation enforcement agent, I got very fond of picking garbage. Not picking, but picking through and seeing. Something I just found. I don't know if the 3D, uh, if you could see the 3D through the camera, but it's a 3D Marvel picture. That's why I just threw it out. So maybe I'll put it on my wall in my uh, my studio. <laughs> so I stand corrected. Um, just a quick note. So the election uh, that I was talking about, New York, New York primary. There's actually two dates. One is some jerk off on uh, <laughs> New York. Our revolution pointed it out to me. All right, I stand corrected. That uh, the the state primaries are actually going to be held on September 13th, I believe, and the um, the the federal primary, which is House and Senate, that'll be on. Tuesday, June 26th. So, June 26th, state. It doesn't even matter. I, the, the elections are rigged. I still stand by my pick. It just means that Cynthia Nixon is just going to... They're going to drag it out all the way till September, and then they're going to lose to Cuomo and have no time to re... you know, regroup and run independent. So, it's again, it's a slam dunk. So... I don't know, it's early on a Sunday morning, and um, I guess I wonder, you know, I don't, I don't know where these where these blogs lead, really. I just think that um, a, a constant re regurgitation of what's going on in the news, or what the, what the media reports, and then it kind of forces the independent media to respond to it. I, I'm not really sure that's, that's the right way to go, because, you know, what do you got? You got Stormy Daniels. That's the big story. Sticking a middle finger up to, at the president with the other one, Katie, Katie Griffith. Two, two, disgraced, <laughs> two disgraced Hollywood losers. One went to porn, one, the other got fired. Whatever. All right. You've got, uh, but then again, on the progressive side, you've got people like H.A. Goodman, that, who I do respect in many, many respects. He holds his ground, but he's going around the clock right now. Live, hours and hours of live streaming about the Mueller probe and how Clinton's going to be indicted and doing all his funny imperson impersonations of Jeff Sessions. Ow, oh, you're the president. No, it's entertainment, but... Right. And you got guys like on Our Revolution, right? Who... I mean, I, again, I, like I said, I reached out to... I, I'm, I come from the school of Bernie Sanders you know, cheated in 2016 and that you can't really you can't really escape that notion. You can't really change that what actually happened. The other thing I'm I'm dealing with right now is that uh and it's actually teaching me something. My cat, I have three cats and uh one of them actually the cat came to to me through the girlfriend who cat has a Chinese name and the cat is slipping you know now terminally ill it doesn't look like she'll bounce back but she's now at the, the cats now at the end of their life dying and you start to notice things about death when that happens like you start to notice that you know the cat not only can't eat or drink water right but but she won't even though if you if you hand it to her and feed it to her she's kind of they lose their ability to, um, you know, maybe a little sip or two, but a little, but nothing, nothing significant enough to sustain life. It's it's death, you know, and it makes me wonder. I don't know. I guess this is a tie-in. It makes me wonder about the current state of the people that I once respected, the 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 democratic progressive movement, where led by Bernie Sanders, fail to acknowledge the real problem, which is, it is money in politics, but it's also fraud and corruption and, and, and party politics and cheating at any expense. As long as we cheat and we're all in on it, it's legal and it's okay. That's, it's not acceptable. That, that kind of politic is not acceptable. So as the dying cat, does, does the Democratic Party have to be so desperate and so gasping for air and 
before it changes, before it dies and rebirth, you know, re rebirths into something else. I, th I think so. I think so. I also think that the, the parties right now, the parties, um, the, 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 the leaders, the leadership, the, the elected leadership, the quote, fake election leadership, and the people of the country are actually two separate entities right now. They're two, uh, two separate pieces of the puzzle because... Once elected, they don't represent the people anymore. The, 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 the donor class becomes their constituency. They rally to the people, vote, 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 build up a, you know, the illusion that people are voting, and then they steal the election and they turn to the donors and say, good job, what can I do for you? Okay. So, so the people that are elected, like Kirsten Gillibrand in New York and Chuck Schumer and you know, and the whole the whole onslaught of new faces are really fake picks. They're 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 appointed in a, in a way where they then go to these you know go they they then head straight for the money and put their hand out. And if they take the money and the corp the corporations then own them and that becomes the pick. And when the time comes, when in office, when in power, they will reciprocate to those donors. They will give a favor. They have to. They have to, because that's the, that's the way it works right now, and I don't accept that. That's why, you know, <laughs> our revolution in New York, the guy wanted to make a joke out of me because I got the dates wrong in this stupid fake primary, right? Like, I don't, I should know that, right? I'm just, I, I just don't give a shit, you know what I mean? Like, I don't, I don't think it's even worth investigating when, so state primaries in New York are... September 13, and the federal one is this week, right? So who cares? It's all fake. The general election is November 6. That's the one that matters. That's the one where we pick the candidate, not the bullshit, you know, posturing, putting up a fake candidate. And then whoever controls the state wins anyway. So in the, de the, Democrat will, the Democrats will, win, will sweep the federals across the board. It's not going to change. Governor public advocate, all that stuff will remain in, firmly in the hands of the crooked Democratic Party. Try to keep these all under 10 minutes. So, I guess the, I guess the, the, um, the you know, the people, I, I guess people have to become desperate before they change. You know, they have to be clinging to the life preserver of death. And I, I don't think that's happening. I think we're just... We're, we're slowly receding into object poverty. You know, 80% of the country is is living in an ob, is object poverty, and the wealthy are s that control everything are so comfortable and so powerful and so untouchable. And, and people accept that in their country, that all of the rules and all of the laws are favor the wealthy. And when someone like, uh, just my own example... Who tries to stand up for himself and 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 points to the corruption, blows the whistle and is thrown to the side and silenced, is just it's just so unbelievable. It's just such a a uh, a thing that I I never I never imagined it would happen in my lifetime in America, you know. And then there's Trump. What is Trump? Trump. Trump is a byproduct, it's karma. Trump is karma. Trump is karma for for not listening to the people. Right? Good morning. I just got a little self conscious. It's not listening Trump is not listening to the people. It's hard to get a a place in New York City where you where you <laughs> You know, successfully avoid people, even in a park at 8 o'clock in the morning. It's always people. Yeah. But Trump is the byproduct of of, uh, of cheating, right? It's, it's a byproduct of, of not listening to the, the smart, awakened young people in the Democratic Party, right? And going with, with leaning into the corporate Democrats, right? That's what it is. Uh, that's who he is. 
right? And he's, you know, he's exacerbating the problem, right? We knew that. We told you that. Trump is our gift to you. Right? Does Trump know how to fix the problem? No. Trump barely even knows what the problem is. Trump is... The, the stock market is up. Unemployment is at a record high. Growth. It's all lies. It's not, none of it is true. Unemployment in this country is probably around 20, 25 percent. It's at depressionary levels. It's just the way, you know, the, 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 the wealthy choose to count the numbers, right? That number is very high. Growth, there is no growth. Growth is based on, you know, stockpiling debt and, and uh, you know, homelessness. I think that that is epic right now where the banks own all these mortgages. That the courts have stopped working. Right. So I'm a doomsday guy today. Marcus Conti, doomsday prophet, YouTube blogger, and, you know, candidate for the United States Senate. We'll see. Peace.